I am presenting this study comparing single puncture mini perk versus RIRS for renal stones in a prospective randomized model. So uh, the purpose of the study was to compare these two procedures and we had limited our uh, mini perk to the single puncture and uh, RIRS where we could do primary procedure without pre-stented patient. So overall 100 patients were selected, they were randomized in two groups, 50 each in mini perk and uh, RIRS. The, the groups were sub further subdivided based on the stone size. So there was a group A which had stone size between 10 to 20 millimeter and group B had stone sizes 20 to 30 millimeter. So cases of uh, in mini PCR where we had to take additional puncture because the selection criteria was uh, single puncture, so they were excluded. And RIRS cases which required primary stenting and the ureter was tied, we could not uh, do the procedure in first sitting, those were also excluded. So in all, RIRS group 5 cases were excluded and uh, mini per 8 cases were excluded. So these were the results. I'll summarize the uh, important findings of this study. So the operative time for smaller stones less than 20 mm was par with both the procedures, not much different. But for RIRS, the operative time was significantly more if the stones were more than 20 millimeters in size. For uh, hemoglobin drop post-operatively, mini PCN and RIRS had a similar results for smaller stones, but Mini perk had uh, more blood loss, higher uh, degree of hemoglobin drop uh, in larger stones. Additional analgesic requirement was higher for mini PCL for uh, smaller stones, but it was significantly more for uh, RIRS for larger stones. And stone free rate for both sizes of the stone were comparable. There wasn't a much significant, uh, statistically significant difference. Overall complications, uh, there were few complications, but they were all managed conservatively. Uh, three cases had pelvic perforation in uh, mini PCNL group, and one case required transfusion. The uh, RIS group, one patient had mild ureteral perforation and perinephric collection in one case. To conclude, mini perk and RIS are safe and feasible surgical option to manage renal stones larger than 10 millimeter. RIS should be, based on this study, uh, RIS should be preferred in cases of a stone less than 20 millimeters and mini PCNL should be preferred for more than 20 millimeters for desired stone clearance in single setting with less post-operative pain. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jibril. between rears and percutaneous is the trauma that it produces to the renal parenchyma that is to answer the question raised before by this new chairman. So the biggest difference is for the patient, how much does he lose from the renal tissue if you perk versus you do flexible, for example. Uh, and mini PCNL, I agree with you, can be a solution. So I have two questions for you. The first one is a technical one. In large renal stones, it was my personal observation, I don't know if that's correct, maybe I know that here, but in my personal observation is that the vision uh, for large renal stones with mini PCNL was quite, quite a difference uh, versus the standard PCNL. That's the first one. And the second question is, I have doubts about your study. I have doubts about the statistical power of your study. <coughs> Can we draw conclusions with uh, B value and uh, percentages based on groups that are 20 patients large. Did you study the, the power? Do you have a power study assessment? Because I would be, well, I would be reluctant to draw these conclusions. Maybe, maybe they're right, maybe they're not, I don't know. In theory, maybe they are. But the numbers, I have serious doubts about the numbers. You cannot draw a, a statistical conclusion with a 20 patients group. It's very little. So power of the study. Did you, did you verify that? Yeah, you did. Uh, I'll answer the first question you said about the vision. Of course, vision, uh, if you compare anything with a larger caliber, obviously it will be 
not as good in mini perk of course the scope size is small but uh, i'm pretty satisfied with my results i have been doing mini perk for quite some time up to 3 3 and a half cm we easily manage them the second thing power of study this uh, point had come because we initially did a feasibility study and we found to compare the, the statistician told us that we need 35 patients in each group so we had 50 in each group 50 were in mini perk group and 50 were in uh, rls group total 100 patients were there so i, I think we have to congratulate dr shaw for uh, this uh, study obviously it is uh, an initial study and uh, maybe he will continue to with uh, to do further studies with uh, more patients of course i have a question if there is a residual fragment because no one has 100% success rate i think what would be your policy i am going for second reels or i am going for example for sw of these fragments uh, yeah. or i am going to wait we generally wait for <coughs> three months and at three months time if still the clearance is not there or a fragment is more than 4 mm or more we generally go in many patient cases we did uh, secondary rirs and uh, sometimes we did uh, and this thing uh, yes yes i will not okay any other questions comments from the panel okay, okay. thank you very much thank you So next presentation is about